Oh, hello there. I got home a while ago. And I haven't yet started on my page. Yesterday I tried to uh, experiment with Reels and I think Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts and I would say that it was a successful experiment. And also, I inked a um, Steve Ditko <laughs> Doctor Strange panel. That was a lot of fun. I'm going to do some variations on this. Kinetically reactive will be in italic. The stronger will be bold italic. All right. Let me get back into the ink layer. Hello. There it is. I feel like I'm skiing downhill in the dark sometimes with the pages. You know, you're just kind of going one, move from one step to the next. Whoops. Have to keep moving though. This one is a uh, fix explaining his force field. So it's a short panel, small panel, and um, well, just to go over where we are. But I can still hurt you, and he, he's going to hit. I actually already did the sword, because I was interested in doing that sword. Because the original version I had was more like a, a wider, flatter blade. And I think I want to actually have him wounded, like maybe it cuts, cuts across his armor or something like that. I want to up the stakes, is what that's called. Because we really are kind of on the ending sequence of this of this whole adventure. And, you know, I can move on to the next thing. I've got the beginnings of a world worked out. I haven't got a script yet. Um, plus, I've got Tarzan, which I keep wanting to go back to. There we go. Okay. 
I don't want to give away too many details because I think it's too good. <laughs> I mean, I, I give away everything once I start drawing because everyone can see it. I post everything. But, oh, I'll put it this way. I've been reading a lot of Leiji Matsumoto at night. And there's definitely something to it, like the way he's kind of structured out his chapters. I don't know where the story is going when Leiji half the time. But, hmm. But the way he structured it is really clever. And he usually does like a kind of a soliloquy at the end of his chapters. This is manga. I'm not going to be doing a manga, but. Soliloquy is what makes it all work. <laughs> He's definitely a questionable individual where he was. He died this year, I think. Just a couple of weeks ago. Might have been months ago. This character, on the other hand. That's this crazy hooded cloak that I don't think I'm going to be able to draw. What's the race? It fell outside of the boundaries. Take this down. <laughs> he has the letter V on his collar piece in true goofy superhero form, or supervillain in this case. You know, when Galactus first appeared, he had the letter G. And they took it away from him. It's like, we're, take, we're taking that off. <laughs> That's not cool. But I think it's kind of cool, you know? All right. We have the basic form. You gotta use everything is thick outlines, so you gotta use um, thin lines at this point. It's a great detail. And luckily, this is a crusty old vampire, so we can do all kinds of evil details on his face. You know what I mean? I was looking at Dan Fraga, um, and once again, I check him out every day. He's always got um, some... Uh, warm-ups or something that he's been doing. His freestyle raps are not as interesting to me, but that's okay. <laughs> They're good. They're funny.
but um, I quite like his art style and um, his work ethic. He draws every day. I believe in that too. All right, here we go. I want to do like a light. Here we go. Posted um some of my sketchwork stuff on the Discord. Got some good feedback. Specifically that I needed more contrast on my creeper figure. Which looking at it, I can see it's totally true. I didn't put much uh heavy black areas in there at all. And now it's giving me pause to think about how I would do it. All right, this is mostly a dialog box. We're going to throw another layer. We're going to throw in the drawing guide. Perspective. There we go. Boom. Make sure I'm doing this right. <laughs> Now we're going to do some strategic strategery racing. Pause for effect. I was sorry. Oops. I'm a little far on that one. I'm a little far on that one too. All right, all well, that's looking pretty good. Let's continue. Let's continue on to the next page. Okay, well, this one, our obvious foreground is up here. Oh. Blaze is getting rocked by this dude. I say rocked. You hit him with a sword. <laughs> he should be 
bleeding, maybe. Well, I'm not sure I got those hairy lines right. Some of them I got right. That's not right. Nope. Taper has to be at the bottom. That's the tough part. And we're missing his lion like ears, which would be out of the panel. Which, that's a lot of what makes him look like a lion. So I'm wondering, I'm hoping, anyways. Yeah, put these ink spots. Uh, those are on purpose. I could easily erase them. But I, want them, I want them to be like a bloody attack. Okay. Maybe not this one. I had this one as chalk, like walk, like, or spang, you know, something like that where it's hitting armor. But I could put a slash. I could cut him. Well, just once. He only cut him once. So I definitely want to imply that we've cut him. There we go. All right. Now my one problem here, I want to make sure that this isn't mistaken as part of his shape of his head has got to be separate from the side of this tangent. But I can, well, hmm. I don't know, how's that doing? I can see that there's problems still. I'm gonna be working on this page for a while. <laughs> We're so close to the end. Um, all right, let's take a look at it without the uh, pencil layer. Maybe that's throwing me off. Ah, it's looking all right without the pencil layer a little bit. I can see that there's problems.
And we've got to vary up the the texture so we know where the armor is, we know where his skin is, you know. If we had more room for dialogue, we would be drawing this out for this game of cat and mouse. I can't remember if he's got his sword out. No, we just see his hand. Which, it's his left hand. It's not a great place for it because that's his sword hand. So, I may just leave that out. Or we'll put the edge of his own fiery blade. You know, kind of over there. Which kind of works because then we get the, um, we can, we have a light source now. An obvious one. So we can start kind of shading towards. I take this hand and move it over to here, but he's the bad guy's right there, so it's sometimes you gotta make those sacrifices where you get, oh this would be so perfect. I've got this great idea and it just doesn't work for the story. Or for the logic of the story. Okay. How does that look? That is a start. It's a starter. This may not end up being my best panel ever, but you know what it is. It is what it is. I always say that. We're gonna live. Right. Come around the side. A little longer.
It is a beginning. Okay, we're going to move on. Please like, follow, and subscribe. I will have this page done before you know it. And then I got to move on to, I don't actually have page 16 drawn yet. Um, uh, with page 16, a surprising thing happens, and there's 17. I might go to 18. Let's, let's take this one in. Oops, no, not that one. Select, duplicate. There we go. <laughs> so we'll call this one, this is page 15. Hang on. Page one five. This will be page one six. PG one six. PG one seven. And PG one eight. Boom. And that's where I think this, this story will finally get to an end. Talk to you later.